Hello everyone, my name is Avkash and this video is in continuation to our Jojo Gain one shot face style transfer AI model series and this video is part two of that three part video series. In the part one, we have covered the Jojo Gain face style transfer application full code where we have perform the inference using existing model and we have also built our own face styling application using single image multiple image as well as the complex face structure such as animal face in this second part of our video we are going to learn the inner details of zozogen working as well as how zozogen uses a style gen pre-built models so this second part of the video is going to cover how Zozo can work through the code study as well as how Zozo can uses the style gain pre-built models. This video is totally focused on code explanation as well as the theory behind how code work and various steps we are using in the code for what particular reason or reasons. The last part of this video is going to be related to the model deployment where you will learn how you can deploy the style which you have created in this exercise through Gradio Python application or how you could build your own application at Hugging Face as well as the weights and bias as well. So the exercise which we have completed yesterday in Google Colab Jupyter Notebook, that Jupyter Notebook is available in this Jozo again folder at Deepworks GitHub repo. And I have already opened that particular Jupyter Notebook in my Google Colab environment. So before we start our deep dive into the Jupyter Notebook code, which we have covered in part one of this exercise, let's learn first why Jozo again is different from the other face style transfer AI models. Second, how you could take advantage of Zozo again if you are going to apply Zozo again for your application where you would want to extract this face style and apply to your target face images. While there have been recent advances in few short image stylization, these methods fail to capture stylistic details that are obvious to human. Details such as shape of the eyes, the boldness of the lines are especially difficult for a, an AI model to learn, especially so under a limited data setting. Jojo can perform one shot image stylization that gets the details right. So we do have neural style transfer NST and we also have the deformable style transfer such as DST. There are several one shot style transfer methods but not all of them result in style mapper in any natural way. The neural style transfer or NST methods, they offer a learned mapper trained with a large data set and a procedure to stylize. Deformable style transfer DST uses qualitative style transfer evaluation in which the DST corrects structural errors by estimating spatial ramps. Then performing traditional neural style transfer, DST achieves impressive one shot stylization, but rep estimation errors have significant effects and are hard to avoid. Looking at the style gain, we can say that the style gain remains the state of art unconditional generative model due to its unique style based architecture. A style gain has already been successfully used for super resolution and face restoration. Research has showed that the fine tuning the style gain on a new data set and performing layer shopping allows the style gain to learn image to image translation with a relatively small data set. So looking at the various style transfer methods as well as the applicability of style gain, we could say that this Jojo gain 
captures stylistic detail natural to human such as shape and size of eye, facial lines, boldness, etc. Jojo Gan AI model applies one-shot image stylization with the particular emphasis on faces. The great thing with Jojo Gan is that it requires just only one single style image to extract and apply the style to the source image. Based on that, we could say that comparatively, Jojo Gan requires very small amount of data and generate high resolution output images. And this last part is really very important to show why Jojo Gan could be a very good improvement among available face style transfer AI models. So the based on given reference style image, the Jojo Gan AI model approximate clear real data using GAN inversion and fine-tune a pre-trained style GAN using the approximate paired data. And finally, the process encourages the style GAN to generalize so that the learned style can be applied to the given source images. To get ourselves started, first we had to clone the Zozo GAN repo to the, our working environment and in this case it's the Google Colab. After that we imported all these PyTorch as well as some of the other modules such as Math, Random, OS, NumPy, Weights and Bias if we would want to log our routines. We imported some of these modules which are specific to Zozo again and finally very first we downloaded this library from Dlib so that we could validate whether the given image has the face or not and at this point as you see that we are downloading the style gain pre-built model because this model is used everywhere in our exercise whether we are performing the inference or we are so I have a very small two to three minute introduction for you to understand what the gain is and second how we are using this pre-built model in conjunction with Zozo again. So let's take a look about it. So we already know that the any gain or the generative adversarial network is a combination of two neural networks. One is the generator which uses the convolutional neural network and the another one is the discriminator which also uses the deconvolutional neural network. So generator uses latent space to read the latent vectors and generate the artificial or the generated content. This generated content is processed by the discriminator or the deconvolutional neural network. Now the discriminator or the deconvolutional neural network access the data set for the real content and checks the generated content for its correctness. The discriminator filters through the information and returns the probability between zero and one to represent each image authenticity or effectiveness in terms of style applicability and these values are then manually checked for the success and repeated until the desired outcome is achieved. Applying the style GAN with the GAN architecture, we can learn how different parts such as generator and discriminator really works because the discriminator role is to validate the generated content and supply the required loss information so generator so the discriminator uses a data set such as Flickr faces high quality data set or FFHQ in combination with these style images such as these style images while the other hand the generator actually uses the latent space it means the styles which are extracted from the style images and applies those style to the input image that input image then validated by the discriminator 
and then depending on number of hydration the style is applied to the given image by the as approved by the discriminator and its understanding of the latent space where and its understanding and its understanding of the target images and its understanding of the styles in the style in extracted style in the style source images now in the next step we are going to read our source image and we are going to process it so as you could see that we are trying to check first whether the given image has face or not and if it is has face then we can align its face properly as well as we could generate the face projection by using a for a projection method so let's learn a little more about how everything works here we have source image and we assume that it has the face but in order to prove that the given image has the face we use the dlib shape predictor 68 face landmarks library and this library or the model is applied to the input face so that valid face landmarks can be recorded and the image is confirmed to have the face landmarks available then this input image is passed into multiple methods such as aligned face to make sure that face is aligned and only face is selected from the overall image and using the e4e projection the source image object is created this object is designed to work on your target device such as cpu or the gpu in the next step we are creating our own style so this is our source image so and and this is our source image and in the next step we are reading this image so that we could generate target as well as the latents so let's learn how we are processing the source image so that we could generate the targets and the latents a number of styles either one single image or a group of images are given or uh, as input for the styles the face validation is done from the styles for availability of the human face this process may not be applicable similar to the source image the align face and the e4 projection methods are applied for the style image and the style information is extracted and is stored into the latent space vector or the latent space object here another object is created for the target image where all these images are stored within an object as the target image so the source style images are transformed into two separate objects one as a latent space which has the information regarding a style and the target image object which is just a collection of output images so in this code just a very simply we are reading the checkpoint model which is already been trained earlier with the source style and then after we are applying that in combination with the generator so as you could see here that we are using generator to generate the output result it means we do need the pre-built style gain model to perform the inference so at this point we can say that our original image where the style so now we can say that the style gain uses the target image along with the discriminator and the latent space with the generator as shown here so as this point you can see that we have already loaded the style reference and that is the style really look like at this point so before we start fine tuning the model it's better for us to understand that how the style gain concept which we have understood based on zozo gain so we could understand now that how the latent space target images etc they work in conjunction with style gain both generator and the discriminator are instantiated by using the style gain version 2 FFHQ checkpoint model for the generator 
because its objective is to generate the false or the raw images it uses source style image latent space with combination to source image apply the style on it which generate the image or the fake image with the features or style applied to it to check and validate the given image the discriminator uses the target image object and validate the image between fake image and the real image and generate the loss and this loss is given back to the generator so that generator can generate another image and this process keep going until the final image with the style is available at last if you are interested that what is the role of FFHQ model in this overall exercise I have little more explanation with you to share as described here because Jojo GAN is heavily utilizing style GAN so in order to understand the human faces the model created the style GAN version 2 model checkpoint is used heavily with the discriminator and generator so at last let's conclude the summary with regard to Jojo GAN at step 1 Jojo GAN reads the reference style image and invert it so that it can obtain the style from it and set the parameters for the next stage we have already seen that in the inversion code where the style image becomes the style image dot pt in this step 2 jojo again generates the training set and it is done by first finding the styles and mixing it with existing styles or other found styles and creating the style pairs of training set the step 3 is all about fine tuning the style again to obtain the best optimum settings to meet the style reference and in the last step the style is applied to the new face or we can say the last step is the inference step where the style is applied through the style mapper and results are generated so that's all i had for you to cover in the second part of of our Zozogan face style transfer AI model. The part 3 of this video is all about model deployment which I will be covering next. Thanks for your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the last part of this video. Thank you.